Welcome to the Borns Multifuse Resettable Fuse Training Module. This module will introduce the Borns Multifuse Resettable Fuse product series and the advantages they can bring as circuit protection components. All electrical equipment is susceptible to dangerous electrical surges. Whether the equipment is in an electric vehicle, the latest smartphone, or a piece of the next generation broadband infrastructure, all can be rendered useless by electrical surges. These surges can be as dramatic as the lightning surge shown here, or even a simple static charge from touching a metal surface. Either way, electrical equipment requires circuit protection to provide reliability to its users. At this time, no single universal component exists that can solve all circuit protection needs. Hence, a multi-billion dollar circuit protection industry has grown from components that limit, block, shunt, and crowbar away dangerous surges. Borns is a leading manufacturer in this industry and has developed a number of different overcurrent and overvoltage components that, in combination, can provide complete circuit protection solutions. This module will focus on just one of these circuit protection devices, the Multifuse PPTC Resettable Fuse product series. Multifuse devices are the Borns brand name for components that are often referred to as polymeric PTCs, with PTC defined as Positive Temperature Coefficient Resettable Fuses, or thermistors. Multifuse polymer PTC devices are components that can provide electrical circuits with either overcurrent protection or over temperature protection. Multifuse devices act as circuit protection components by limiting dangerous current surges, such as short circuits, in electrical equipment. They provide protection as they react to an overcurrent event by changing from a very low resistive state to a very high resistive state. This is known as the Positive Temperature Coefficient Effect, or PTC Effect. What makes these devices special is that once the overcurrent surge has passed, the multifuse device will reset to its low resistive state and allow the equipment to resume operation. Therefore, they are known as resettable fuses. Multifuse devices made from a conductive polymer exhibit this PTC effect because of their unique construction. Polymers are insulators by nature. But conductive particles mixed into the polymer matrix results in high conductive properties. The conductive particles allow current to flow through the device, giving it a low resistance in its normal state. However, an overcurrent surge causes the polymer PTC to heat due to I squared R losses, causing the device to change phase from low resistance to high resistance as the conductive chains expand. The PPTC device will stay in the high resistive state as long as there is a fault current. Once this fault current is removed or the power has been cycled, the PPTC device will return to the low resistive state. Multifuse polymer PTC devices have become so popular as overcurrent protection devices that they can now be found protecting applications in almost every aspect of the electronics industry. Just a few of these applications are listed in this slide. Inside each of the applications previously listed, the multifuse resettable fuse operates in the same manner as the traditional one-time fuse, in that it operates in series with the load. Here we graphically illustrate how a multifuse device operates. The blue line represents the circuit operating current, while the red line represents the reaction of the PPTC device in resistance. As can be seen under the normal operating condition of the circuit, the PPTC device is in a low resistive state. If a fault current event arises, the PPTC device reacts by changing from low resistance to high resistance and limiting the circuit to a tiny trickle current. The PPTC device will remain at high resistance and then return to the normal operating current once the power is cycled and the circuit can resume operation. The most obvious benefit of multifuse devices is that, unlike the traditional fuse, resettable fuses can reset after a short circuit and, therefore, requires no replacement after the circuit returns to normal. 
Also, unlike a fuse-protected system, a resettable fuse system will not shut down circuits for long periods of time due to a transient fault. While traditional fuse-protected systems require service calls to replace broken fuses, this is not the case with a resettable fuse-protected system. Fewer service calls improve the overall product quality and lower warranty-associated costs. Almost every multi-fuse polymer PTC from Borns has been recognized by safety organizations such as UL, CSA, and TUV. These listings can be downloaded from the Borns website at www.borns.com or from the safety organization's websites. As mentioned earlier, multi-fuse polymer PTCs are used in a wide range of applications across the electronics industry. To accommodate all these applications, multi-fuse products are available in a broad range of sizes and characteristics. These devices cover the operating current range of 50 milliamps up to 14 amps and a voltage range of 6 volts up to 90 volts with 265 VAC interrupt for the North American telecommunications market. These devices have a standard operating temperature rating of minus 40 degrees Celsius to plus 85 degrees Celsius, with certain devices rated for higher temperature applications, such as automotive applications, with an operating temperature range up to 125 degrees Celsius. The wide array of multi-fuse devices shown in this slide covers a full range of SMD radio through-hole and strap type for battery cell applications devices. If these options still do not cover your application requirements, please feel free to contact Borns to see if a customized product solution can be used. As mentioned earlier, Borns is proud to have a range of the smallest size PPTC devices on the market. New series such as the MF-FSMF, MF-FSML-X, and MF-FSHT are available in an 0603 size package, as well as the MF-ASML-X series in an 0402 size package, with currents ranging from 50 milliamps to 3 amps. Because of the advantage in size, these devices are among the fastest tripping PPTC devices on the market making them very useful in wearables, handheld and portable electronic equipment. They can also be used in instrumentation, industrial, GPS, and PC applications. What's really special about Multifuse is the construction that Borns has developed to accommodate these small sizes. This design has been labeled the free expansion design and has been proven to enable higher voltages and higher currents. Not only does this free expansion design allow higher electrical specifications, but as can be seen from the graphs, it enables products that use this design to have a more stable performance and increased product life. Borns is proud to have a range of the lowest resistance PPTC devices on the market. The model MF-XSML-X series, available in 0402 to 1210 size packages, offer a range of hold currents from 0.1 amp to 7 amps. Because of their resistance, these devices are among the lowest power consumption PPTC devices on the market, making them very useful in handheld and portable electronic equipment. They can also be used in instrumentation, industrial, GPS, and PC applications. Born's offering of 125 degrees Celsius rated multi-fuse polymer PTC devices is specifically designed to provide robust, cost-effective overcurrent and over-temperature protection across a variety of harsh environments where high ambient operating temperatures are prevalent and long life reliability is crucial. The wide range of models within the portfolio provide hold currents up to 1.75 amps, with maximum currents of 40 amps and maximum voltages up to 42 VDC. Most of the high temperature series are ROHS compliant and AEC Q200 compliant. After the fundamental technology behind multi-fuse PPTC resettable fuses has been explained, it's time to present three short steps on how to find the ideal PPTC device for an application. First, check the operating voltage of the circuit and compare this value to the Borns Multifuse data sheets to select a PPTC device that has a VMAX higher than the circuit voltage. This will ensure that the PPTC device can operate safely in the circuit. Next, check the operating current of the circuit. Compare this value with the hold current, or I-hold, in the Borns data sheet 
and select the PPTC device with an I-hold value higher than the operating current. This will ensure that the PPTC device will not cause a nuisance trip in the application. Finally, determine the ambient temperature of the circuit. Cross-reference this value in the thermal derating chart on the datasheet and ensure that the PPTC device selected has a higher I-hold value than the operating current at this ambient temperature. When finished with these three steps, the options of the ideal PPTC device for the application should be narrowed down to a few devices. There are more details on the data sheets, such as time to trip charts, thermal derating tables, resistance values, etc., which will be key in determining the final product. If more information is required, please feel free to visit the Borns website at www.borns.com where an abundance of information can be found such as data sheets, agency listings, application notes, a product selection tool, AEC Q200 compliant products, technical library, product training module, sample request forms, material declaration sheets, etc. In summary, multi-fuse polymer PPTCs from Borns offer either overcurrent or over temperature protection for electrical circuitry. If a fault condition occurs, the multi-fuse device will be heated to increase resistance dramatically and allow only a trickle current to flow to the circuit, thus protecting it. Reset the multi-fuse device after the fault condition to return the system to normal, thus eliminating the need for service calls to replace blown fuses. There are three short steps to find the suitable PPTC for an application. Determine the proper VMAX, the proper I-hold, and then choose the right PPTC device from other parameters.